Sometimes it's either a dream that came true or it's not even reality. I'm just living it inside my head. Housing is a fundamental human right and everyone deserves a home. And ending homelessness and the efforts around that is one way to achieve that. It was not easy to start out, first of all, and then second, it was calmly and collected and being patient with how the community is, and that would probably had first given me the, the first understanding that this could possibly work out because there's more of these systems and more hands-on in trying to guide you and help you and give you what tools you need to be into a house. Chronic homelessness, as defined by the national standards, is an individual that experiences homelessness for six months over the past year, or that has experienced homelessness for a duration of 18 months over the past three years. Functional Zero is specific to individuals that are experiencing chronic homelessness in our community. When we look at our baseline of Functional Zero in community, it means that individuals that have met the chronic definition, um, that that number of individuals is at three or below, and that we've maintained that status for three consecutive months or more. We are the front line. And I often talk about your neighbor. If everybody looked after their neighbor, uh, one, only one neighbor, uh, anybody, everybody in the world could solve homelessness. And it's really about human dignity and treating people with respect. It's easy to you know, listen to about homelessness in Vancouver, Victoria. But if you have to step over somebody on your way to work or to get to the ATM, you need to do something in your own community. So when Medicine Hat declared that they'd ended homelessness in 2015, that was based on our local definition of what it meant to end homelessness, and that was people were connected to the appropriate supports and services within 10 days. The reason Medicine Hat did their own definition was because prior to that, there was no national definition and standard for what it meant to end homelessness across Canada. Since that time, the national body has stepped up and forward through the works of the, the likes of Canadian Lights and Homelessness and Built for Zero, and they've actually created a definition of what it means to end functional homelessness. How do you end homelessness? It, you know, until somebody actually does it, uh, you know, until somebody actually went to the moon. Nobody believed anybody could get to the moon or until somebody flew. You can't believe people can fly. And, and I didn't believe that you could end homelessness or that it was actually even uh, a lofty or worthwhile goal, frankly. So Medicine Hat is committing to ending homelessness for all individuals in our community that are currently experiencing homelessness and those that may fall into a state of homelessness in the future. We aim to create effective systems of care and improve on those systems of care. We are known as innovators and system disruptors, even within our own system. Our goal is to protect our zero. I've seen Medicine Hat, which is arguably the most conservative city in Canada, come to grips and to, come to become more compassionate over time and to recognize that our place now here in, in Medicine Hat is a beacon of hope for the world. But, uh, I am proud of, of this city and proud to be the mayor of Medicine Hat. I want this community to see people that are still experiencing homelessness as their neighbors that are just not housed right now. We want them to see the person behind that state of homelessness. We want them to remember that a person's housing status is not their defining attribute that they are worthy and a valued member of this community and it's our responsibility to ensure all members are supported. So I came up with three words to help me through this. It was patience, confidence, trust. Everybody has difficulty with trust, but patience and, and confidence was the two tools that I needed to work on that helped me. And I did that a few years ago and I didn't, I didn't have that self-esteem before when I was coming and transitioning into this program. I didn't have that confidence before. Now I was like, yep, myself. Because right off the bat, I somehow did the work to where you feel, huh, I am a person after all. <laughs> so.